again a video I want to keep it very short I want to show the effect of say back coupling the amplified radio signal from the end of the first transistor stage that's the field effect transistor to the coil and I've used now a proper antenna coil for short wave it's on the other video I've used a uh, proper uh, tuning capacitor and perhaps interesting to tell this coil receives it all and the whole antenna is this piece of wire so approximately say 30 centimeters to the top of this coil and I've uh, mounted here tiny capacitor 18 picofarad you can also try 10 perhaps 22 or 8 picofarad and this is the wire that will back couple this the amplified signal at the FET from the source back to the coil let's listen we hear now that typical radio station it's quite weak now I hook up that backup link capacitor and you can you can immediately hear there is much more amplification so the the tank circuit uh, is driven up the Q the quality factor of the tank circuit is kind of multiplied by sending the signal from the output of the first field effect transistor to the input to the coil and when it is too strong the radio will start to oscillate you will hear a weeping sound not the case now it has to do with the small antenna very small antenna 30 centimeters and it has to do with the value of that capacitor that's small and the good quality of the coil let's listen again and we'll, we will also listen now to other radio stations whether they are somewhat stronger on shortwave by the way it's a problem to tune in with this uh, variable capacitor because you need for this coil on shortwave a uh, tuning capacitor that goes from say 5 picofarad up to 150 picofarad so I help the tuning a little bit by sticking that ferrite rod somewhat more in. So the back coupling helps. It helps a lot. So that's another possibility. the regenerative principle and this is fading etc etc